9080 DeLoreans were manufactured at the factory in Northern Ireland back in the 80s. But not so many people know that two of the cars were plated in 24 karat gold. This is the story of the Golden Wings. My thoughts were really that it wasn't going to happen. And particularly when they started to reduce the number, starting off you know, at over 100 and then coming down to two, I thought, OK, yes, what's going to happen now? Say, we will not produce the gold cars. And these two said, no, we want our cars. Hence then, so absolutely no option at all. We were there with Degusa. We had to build these cars. So this is the, the crib area where the cars were built. You can see that uh, it was very, very sparsely area that nobody was allowed into at all, only uh, the car itself and the people that worked in there. Security people on the door checking uh, the passes and making sure that uh, only uh, the designated people could get through. First they think it's the car from Back to the Future, because that's what everyone thinks as soon as they see a DeLorean Back to the Future, and then they realize it's gold. And, and a lot of people first think, oh, it's just painted gold. It, and nope, it is, is actual 24 karat gold on there. What's more interesting than a gold-plated car? I mean, just it's, it's hard to go beyond that. Um, it's a, a particular dream of, of two individuals, um, you know, for being offered and that they would accept that and pay a, I mean, this was a huge premium, $85,000 plus, you know, delivery and such as. You could buy a couple of nice Ferraris for less money than that. So there had to be a, um, a draw to the idea of having a car plated in pure gold. Well, there's a third one, but it's not an official third one because when, when they made the cars, they were obliged to make extra panels. And when the, after the company went out of business and they had all the panels here in the States, they decided to make another car. You know, the mechanical parts, we can easily uh, acquire those, but uh, the bodywork, the panels, no. <laughs> it has not been a museum piece, it's been something that uh, people have actually enjoyed uh, and have seen all over the country, or all over the East Coast, where Carl's shown the car. It's something that you won't see anyplace else. What's going to happen to it? I'm going to sell it if I can find somebody dumb as I am. <laughs>